my name is Debbie Hoffman. I'm a reference librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. Do you like historical fiction? I do. I hope you do too. And if you do, I would highly recommend The Swans of Fifth Avenue. Um, Bel Mel Melanie Benjamin, the author and also the author of The Aviator's Wife, um, she intersperses her stories with real people, real life facts. So it actually becomes, it, it really is just wonderful because you, I almost have to go back and double check to see, fact check, if indeed these people did live and did live this way. And, and it's true, they did. Truman Capote is larger than life. Um, he always knew that he was going to be famous. And when he arrives in New York, he is um, seduced by the very wealthy on Fifth Avenue. And of course, one of them um, in high society that he absolutely falls in love with is Babe Pally, who is the wife of um, Bill Paley, who was the CBS CEO for many, many years, along with all the other ladies. And I'm going to read their names because I'm going to forget otherwise. Um, Pamela Churchill, um, Slim Keith, um, Gloria Guinness. These were all women of society. They literally ran Fifth Avenue. It's totally interesting to see how they lived, and she does this beautifully. But it really is the love story between Truman Capote, who was actually very gay, and and it was acknowledged, and Babe Pelly, who you would think who was kind of the queen of society, but she had many insecurities, and it really delves into how women of that generation they were, they were groomed to marry men of wealth, and she didn't have a lot of choices. You would think that she would. She had all the money in the world, all the connections in the world, but this is how they lived. So Truman Capote comes on the scene and absolutely takes New York by storm. Um, the Swans, the beautiful women of Fifth Avenue, become his um, his touchstone and he loves them and he they they gossip about each other and about other people except for Babe who never does and Babe and Truman really do have a very deep relationship until after all of his success with um, Breakfast at Tiffany's and in, and in Cold Blood happen Truman kind of begins to drink a little bit and he kind of doesn't know what to write about so he brings up all these stories that he has heard over the years and writes these kind of true stories, these little short stories that impact all of their lives horrifically. Um, this is a wonderful story. It, it's so much fun to kind of get a glimpse into socialite New York. And, um, and of course, you have the <clears throat> you have the, all of the fun people. Frank Sinatra pops in for a little bit and pops out. And, and of course, Truman Capote, again, is larger than life. Babe Pally is just a wonderful woman, and um, I wish I could have known her. <laughs> so this is called Swin The Swans of Fifth Avenue. Again, a gorgeous historical fiction book.